Hello, welcome to my humble channel. My name is Rooks and I'm an artist. The weather was poop and I've been bedbound most of the week so I decided to use the misery to finish my quilt. This piece is my first ever quilting project that I did almost everything wrong and abandoned it midway. And it had become my first ever UFO. I believe it stands for unfinished object. I personally interpret it as undergarment for August. If you're new to quilting and thought, hmm, that looks quite okay. I love your innocence. Keep it up. And why yes, I'll describe myself upper intermediate now. I've decided not to include footages of me actually finishing it because it'll be a bit strange. A bit like I built a shed but I messed up the foundation so it's lopsided. Let me show you how to make it. Despite all the flaws, I love it and I'm going to get it blessed by my loved ones. The first to go is Dorian, OG. Oh, I just washed this. He won't be told, so a little bit of a trickery is needed here. And it is done. Next is Fuko. Ah, he's always a good sport. Now the elusive pom-pom. Thank you. I'll count that as success. Now the dogs. I'm basically going around in order of cleanliness. Chickens go last because they have the least bowel control. Or maybe they do, maybe they just don't care. In that case, I salute them. Bruni, can you bless my quilt? Bruno won't be told either, so I'm gonna ask Tommy, our neighbour's mastiff. Oh, he's always willing to please. And he handled it beautifully. Which made Bruno jealous. Now she wants to have a go. If the request came from my partner, she'd do it in a flash and a hundred times over. She's a hierarchical princess. Here comes Rocco. My neighbour's the other mastiff. He's a very shy boy. He'll do anything for my neighbour and his farm. But blessing my quilt, I guess, is not in his job description. Well, can't win them all. Now the lovely chicken's turn. Thank you, Ripley, the bravest one. Now it's the turn for the least important animal of the menagerie. Me. It was very comfortable, and this is me pretending to be a rock. The dogs thought that was really cool. Uh, it's me pretending to eat Tommy as a monster rock. He loved it even more than I soon thought to myself, what would dogs do to the rocks they like? And it was time to wrap it up. My partner was a little bit worried that I may be showing too much legs. I told him that it's for OnlyFans and he seemed to be reassured after that. I never used the platform but I'm sure there is a category called someone else's crazy auntie. 
Thank you for coming to see me this week. I'd love to see you next week too. Have a wonderful day ahead.